most times it takes disaster or alarm to jolt us into action as a country. The National Agency for Food and Administration and Control, NAFDAQ, has reaffirmed the ban on importation of Indomie noodles into the country. This is coming on the heels of the recalling of Indomie noodles by Taiwan and Malaysia following the discovery of a cancer causing agent in it. According to the Director General of NAVDAC, Professor Mojisol Adeyeye, the agency has started working on analysis of the compound of Indomie made in Nigeria and promised to update Nigerians on the outcome of that investigation. This is the fastest food our children take. This is <laughs> something that, look, it, it will cut across. This is catastrophic. Mm. <laughs> because, I don't know, I don't know. This came, if you remember, some years back, under the NAVDAQ of late Dora Kweli. Yeah. This, something like this was, you know, alleged. And NAVDAQ carried out their findings and everything. And later, they discovered that they gave this particular product a clean bill of health. Mm. This happened like 10, 15 years ago, if you just remember. A clean bill of health. Now we are at it again. That for Malaysia, for these other countries to be recalling this Indomie again, that shows that, look, we have to yeah, pay attention. Problem. Now, I know that they stopped importation a long time ago. Mm. They have their own um, plants across the country yeah. and they make it here. Mm. So, NAVDAQ will see to that that the imported ones will not find their way into the country and the ones we have on ground to be well tested. Yes. Oh. I, I think that um, we must commend NAVDAQ for uh, its proactiveness. Actually, NAVDAQ under Professor Mojisola Deyeye has, has not performed poorly, you know, has done well. Now, but let it, also, let it be uh, clear that NAVDAQ is not saying that it's banning Indomie, as reported by some uh, publications. NAVDAQ is not banning Indomie. Yeah. Indomie. Let's make it clear. Uh, yes, we should make it very clear. Because people don't understand it. Imp imported ones. Exactly. Yes, In fact, especially from Taiwan and exactly. Malaysia. There is Malaysia. already a prohibition in place by yeah. the FG mm -hmm. of, uh, on importation of Indomie. Indomie is being produced locally in Nigeria. So why was we no, 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 <laughs> what, again? No, what is happening? <laughs> no, what, uh, yeah, why was we again? Now, when Taiwan and Malaysia took that uh, decision to mm. that step. Now that now thought that why well, it is also wise for us to remind Nigerians that Indomie importation is banned. That's one. We will also examine the, the one that is being produced locally mm. to see whether there is fire on the mountain. Okay, that's what Navdak is trying to do, and I think it, I think it's good enough. I think it, it's it's wonderful. You know, you know, what I remember, actually, when, when I, I saw this story, I, I just remembered my Peking. You remember my Peking? That titting powder yeah, in 2008. Yes, yes. You, you remember? It, yes, the powder, you know, powder yeah. was given to children when they were titting. Yes, yes. You know, and it, it was very harmful to them. And you, you saw the action, you remember the action that was taken mm, mm. against uh, that powder. So we cannot rest on our hearts. Like you said, this is what children like to take. Every child, Indomie, Indomie. Not, um, not children alone. In fact, other noodles adults, that are not fastest, Indomie. Uh, meal we can fix. Indomie is a generic name for all noodles. <laughs> Just yeah. like yours. I'm saying, telling you. Indomie, Indomie, Indomie. Even my little boy, yeah, my eight -year -old, I think he believes all, all noodles are Indomie. So you understand? But the truth of the matter is that, yes, we like what is happening. And NAVDAQ should just um, publish, make public its findings. If Indomie produced locally, is given a clean bill of health, let's know. If there are issues, let's know. And how to correct those issues, let them just go ahead and do it. Well, that's why it comes from people in Indomie generation. <laughs> <laughs> During my time, we, we did not know what was the Indomie. You know. All of a sudden, maybe like 20, 25, 30 years ago, <laughs> they started bringing I, I, it. I, I think there are a couple of issues here. Okay. One. Those foreign Indomies are in this country. Mm. No doubt about that. Mm. Same thing with spaghetti. Mm. I know people who can, can identify import 
all of them. Whether I local. The difference between the local and the import. They will tell you, I don't want local. I want foreign, which is imported. So the big question to ask is, how, how have these things been getting into the country? Despite the fact that they have Despite manufacturing the flats that, here. Beyond even manufacturing. That's why the fact that there is a ban mm. on the importation. Mm. True. We also have to ask ourselves the question. Except in some instances, most of these imported ones are cheaper than the local ones. Cheaper than the local ones? Yes. Which points us in the direction of this quest and shout? for us to be able to manufacture things locally and at reasonable price. Because everything that we do in this country will be based, as in manufacturing, on certain parameters. Number one, power. Number two, equipment. For parts of those equipment, you have to import. When there is a breakdown, you have to start looking for forex to bring in your parts. And it's still the same issue that we say. All of these things run around themselves. They the, run into the themselves. You say the manufacturer here, you can't be convinced that 100% yes. the raw materials, everything that are being assembled here. From here. So we must get to a point where we can say to ourselves as a country, that we can be self-sufficient. It's a shame that the wheat that they use for these things, they are taken from here. They are taken largely even from parts of Africa. So what is happening to us as a country that we cannot say our own windumi is cheaper? Look at the issue of rice too. They are the same family. Rice locally is higher in price than the foreign ones. Honestly. Go and check it out. Local rice, the price is higher because we claim or we know also that it is far more nutritious, far more beneficial to the body than, and the cost of producing it is higher. So it's just a ring that we must start checking. If we don't address the issue of pricing, and manufacturing, I mean, via manufacturing, we will not be able to keep all of. We are only going to be. Able, we are only going to say it because some parents, as far as they are concerned, give me the cheapest is what they want Honestly. because they can't even afford the ones that are expensive. So we must begin to look at all the indices. It's not just about pronouncing a ban. Yes, you can pronounce a ban. That's if people can afford the alternative. I think the government will have to protect us fast and fast Faster. because I can, dun, dun, I, dun, 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 in, now. I can imagine the number of children that will go to bed with Indomie noodles tonight yeah. and the people that will still go to the market to, yeah, to buy, buy the foreign, uh, the, mm. uh, the, uh, the imported ones. The ones that are cheaper. The uh, cheaper is imported. Uh, because as he's talking now, I now remember, you know, apart from the regular onions and um, hungry man size and everything, yeah. I've seen... Like brownish, in, in, different in, 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 ones. Yeah, mm. very, very different, different yes, ones. That you know that this is imported. That they don't, they don't make this here. Okay, we quickly take this.